Okay, 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 okay. How many okays do I need to? Oh, there you go. We're live. Okay, welcome, welcome to another sh to another show of the Crypto Factor. Welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome to the Factor fam. We are alive yet again every Sunday, seven o'clock EEST time, and this is another live stream. And do we have news for today? Do we have things to talk about today? We have so much things to talk about today. By the way, we're going to be talking about, we're going to be doing the normal AMA. We're going to be answering your questions in the chat, of course. We're going to get to that fast. We're going to do a price prediction, what I think, where certain uh, cryptocurrencies are going, where Bitcoin's going, Ethereum's going, where Solana is going, where ADA is going, and so on and so on and so on. We're going to talk about how to exit the market, when to exit the market, because I'm going to tell you something that most people are not going to tell you that's unique. That's very unique because no one's predicting this or no one's telling you this, at least as you know, as much as I know. And I watch a lot of channels because I like to I like to I like to look at my competition and try to do better. Just kidding. I, I look as I like entertaining myself and I get my crypto news from YouTube channels as well, because it's just easier than reading, especially when I'm driving. So that's where it is. And we're gonna be doing we're going to be talking about a lot of things. We're going to be talking about how you can lose your money, how you can lose your hard-earned money very easily in this market, how to buy a Lambo like mine, like, like my Lambo right here. It's a very serious show, by the way. If it's your first time here, this channel is all about crypto cryptopreneurship for the aspiring cryptopreneur, the cryptopreneur. We don't do what other channels do. We don't talk about news. You already heard the news right we don't we don't do reviews well, you have enough shillers out there we do a few things different here we do daily videos 60 second videos thought leading videos in 60 seconds to answer your question and get to the point fast so we don't waste your time we do surprise live streams where we come at you out of nowhere we just appear and we talk about certain things and we discuss and i answer your questions we do interviews with some of the most successful people and pioneers in crypto from antonopoulos to roger ver to scott stornetta the father of blockchain we do all that richard hart Everyone, everyone, Anthony Pompliano, you name it, right? We do, and we do the weekly live stream at 7 o'clock EEST time. This one right here where we really dive in, talk to you guys, and answer your questions. So what's bugging me today? Well, first of all, they robbed my car last night. Very, very funny story. So I have a pit bull. I have an American Amstaff. It's a pit bull. And last night, he was barking like crazy. Now... At some point, his bark, it's a certain bark that you, you know, there's playful barks, and there's certain barks you're not supposed to ignore. But because it was playful barking, I ignored, I ignored the bark bark, if that makes sense. So he was on the balcony barking, going crazy. I got up a couple of times, told him to be quiet, even closed the balcony door. But then he would kept on barking. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go inside. I'll open up. Like, I opened the balcony door. I'm like, see, there's nothing. He looked. There was nothing there. Came back in. Went to sleep, stopped barking after that. Woke up in the morning, went to go downstairs into my car, and I don't lock my car. <laughs> but don't ask, well, the reason is the lock broke. And I've been running around so much the last two, three years, I never got to the point where I fixed the locks with the button. I took it to the shop, they, took, they said I have to leave it, and have time to leave it, long story. So I, left, I leave it open, I leave it open everywhere. For three years, I did not rob my car. <laughs> so anyway, uh, they robbed my car. So they didn't get much. They got a microphone. They got a Rode microphone, a little microphone I use for my videos. It's about 100 euros with the adapter for the iPhone. Fortunately, I have a second one right here. But it was an iRig case. Um, but yeah, so I have a second one, so that's no big. They sold my Armani sunglasses, which I use for fishing. And they asked me, why do you have Armani sunglasses for fishing? Well, they're polar Polaroids, number one. Number two, they were getting a bit old, so I bought the Ray-Bans that you usually see me in. And I use those for fishing. If you look at my fishing video the other day, I actually dove in the, I dive in the water with them. So no big deal. It's 200 euro glasses. That's fine. Why would you leave them in the car? I don't leave them in the car. I left them in the car after fishing because I couldn't be bothered to get them in the glove compartment. That, they, they were gone. Uh, what else did they steal? They stole a charger, which I'm most disappointed about because you can never and you can never have enough Apple chargers, right? So they stole my charger, uh, and that was pretty much it. At least it didn't break the window because the door was open, so they just opened the door. And you know, my dog went nuts. I should have listened to him. I should have listened to him. I hugged him today. He's, now he's sleeping. He did what he did. He did his job, and I didn't listen to him. 
I didn't. So anyway, that was my fault. They say when an, when an Amstaff barks, go check because it doesn't bark uh, for no reason. For no reason, okay? I just heard someone is driving a bus and listening to me. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. Anyway, so uh, I'll make sure I'll make some nice jokes for, for lols for you while you're driving the bus. Please try not to crash and kill everybody on the bus. Please don't do that. Just just don't. Unless it's a safe moon army. If it's a safe moon army, start accelerating. You know, jump out and let the just let the let the bus go. Let the, let the bus free fall. Okay. Anyway, so so that was my little rant. Well, not really rant. Little story about my Amstaff. Feel really bad about him. He's a good boy. Should have listened. Hey, it is what it is. It is now. Let's talk a little bit about price prediction because a lot of people they're sort of talking about two hundred fifty thousand, talking about one million, they're talking about one point five million, and they're giving all these different price ranges. And guess what? They're all right. And let me explain why they're all right, because before you just stop like, oh, Paul, this is stupid, uh, thumbs down, let me go. No, listen, they're all right because of this. Everyone gives predictions, and they all come true eventually. If I give you a prediction of 20,000 right now, 50,000 for Ethereum, right, or, or 20,000 for Bitcoin, 50,000 for Bitcoin, then give you 100,000 for Bitcoin and 1 million for, for Bitcoin. If you believe that Bitcoin is going to go up over the years, sooner or later you're right. And, you know, if it happens next time, in like, in like two years, well, okay, I missed the mark for about one or two years, but I was right. Yeah, everyone is right. So let's talk about this bull cycle. And we're going to talk about when the bull cycle is going to end as well, or when I think it's going to end, or how you can recognize it will end and how to get out. So I'm looking at a hundred to $140,000 Bitcoin. That's what I'm looking at. I was looking for an eighty-four to a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. I told people to take profits from sixty to eighty thousand dollars. Anybody that's watched this channel know that. And then, and then I was warning people to sell. You can see all my videos warning people to sell. But now, with my analysis now, and I'm not going to do it boringly on the screen. There's no reason to. But my analysis right now. I'm looking at 100 to 140 thousand dollar Bitcoin. That doesn't mean I'm not going to take profits at eighty-four thousand. I think there will be a retrace at about 84,000 roughly. I'm going to be taking some profits there and then reevaluating my position and see if I get back in for the 100 to the 140,000. Now, could it go to 250,000? Yes. Yes, it can. That's why you always keep some to the side in your trading position just in case. But I'm going to act like this I'm going to act like this bull market is going to go to 100 to 140,000. That's five times the all-time highs last time. $20,000 roughly was the top. I'm going to go 5x on that. And that's what I'm looking for this bull cycle. Then I'm looking for a bear market or a sideways trend for a couple of years. It's going to really make us boring and it may make it boring for everyone. Everyone's going to get out. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at for 2021, possibly 2022. Okay. But here's the other kicker. You have to understand, and we'll talk about price predictions for other coins and currencies in a second. Okay. But you have to understand that if you want to be profitable and make it in this market, yes, you need to be dollar cost averaging on the dips. You also need to be taking profits on the highs. I'm not saying you need to go take profits now. No, the market is looking good now in my, in, in, in my as we said, I, I mean, I called it. I called the top at 60,000, right, uh, roughly. I can't remember the, the number I gave. I think I gave 60 to 64,000. We can go watch my video. I called the top, told you I got out at 58 or 57, what was it? Called it again at 45,000 on the way down. Like, listen, if we break 45, or was it 40? Can't remember. We're going to go down lower. I called the bottom before anybody else at 30,000. I even said we might dip just, like, just below it and go back up. I called 30,000 on the bottom. I made a bet, won the bet, still have a steak dinner to make a video about because I won that bet. I called the 30,000 bottom I call I, I called everything so far I was very lucky so, so make sure you you know I'm, my luck's gonna run out eventually so make sure you you know you can listen to me but keep a grain of salt okay because yes these are all probabilities but I might be wrong I was wrong about a few things right I mean I, I did great with cryptocurrencies this year I did awesome I called everything I, I, I completely fucked up my NFTs right I, I, I buy and I work in NFTs and I completely bought I bought all the stupid NFTs but anyway that's a different story we can talk about it later I can even so, show you some and what I did but um, so we all have our strong points and low points right um, so 
and, and it's not just about prophecy blade it's also about inside information man I'm, <laughs> I'm in the market here but anyway so and i'll give you a prophecy about safe moon in a second i'll, I'll do that in a bit so what was it saying? So you want to be taking profits and getting out of the market. Listen, by the end of October, October is going to be a good month. I think people should be taking profits into Bitcoin. I think people should be accumulating any, anything that goes astronomically high, should be taking their profits, not, not their initial income, not their initial investment, into Bitcoin. Or another strategy is to take out their initial investment, put it in Bitcoin, and let the profits run. Either way is good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see at the end of October what the price is for Bitcoin. We're going to see is it 60, is it 70,000? That's where I'm looking at. I'm looking there roughly. And we're going to see if it's going to retrace a little bit or break those all time highs. And then you can always get back in. You can always get back in higher. But Paul, oh, you can get back higher. Yeah, but you can get back in higher when there's support and it makes more sense because you know when to get out after, right? Or you can use that Bitcoin to buy some. Uh, altcoins that haven't pumped or are lagging. For example, people were asking about Luna. Paul, why isn't Luna pumping? It was in my comments. I said, it's lagging. That means buy it, right? And Luna, Luna of course, broke out and is probably pumping right now as we speak or was pumping earlier on anyway. So this is how you, you get to look at. But you, you have to understand that you need to get profits. Now, as for my predictions, this, let me give you some predictions. And this is going to sound very familiar to you, and I'll tell you why. Number one, it's not from any other YouTuber. What predictions I'm going to give you right now, it's by no other YouTuber out there, and I'll prove it to you. Because I gave these predictions in the beginning of the year. If you look at my earlier videos, I gave you predictions earlier this year. My Ethereum prediction was what? Four than seven thousand dollars. We hit the four thousand. We're going to seven. I'm looking at a seven to ten thousand dollar Ethereum. That was in another video around March or April. Can't remember where. You can go back and look. It's all documented. Uh, I'm looking at seven to ten thousand dollar Ethereum by the end of this bull run. If we have a parabola, a parabolic run, I'm looking at a fourteen to twenty thousand uh, dollar. Sorry, seventeen to t to twenty thousand dollar Ethereum. Now I did say I'll be taking profits at, at fourteen thousand, ten then fourteen thousand. So uh, by the end, by the by the time we get to seventeen thousand, I would have sold most of my Ethereum. If it keeps on going, fine. I still have some in my in my hodl position. But I'm taking profits. I'm taking profit. Nothing goes up forever. It always goes back down. So there will always be chances to buy back, right? And I want to have powder and, and I want to have power to buy in the bear market. There will be a bear market. People say, oh, there's never going to be a bear market again. No, there will be a bear market. Bitcoin's never going to go down again. When it was 60 something thousand, it did go down again. And I was telling people, and everyone was shouting me. When Dogecoin, Dogecoin, I was saying, take profits on Dogecoin. Oh, it's never going to go down, Elon Musk. It did go down. Oh, it's not a meme anymore. It's not a joke. Yes, it is, right? It's not a bad thing either. That's its use case. It's it's a it's 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 a meme coin, right? This air conditioning is not working for some strange reason. Close and switch it back on. Give me a second. I bought a Tesla air conditioner, two of them, uh, last year. And then figured out and found out the hard way it wasn't Tesla, it was a Chinese brand. But it's a good air conditioner, it just, it just does to China now and then it stops working. Anyway, um, so anyway, what was I saying? So my Ethereum, that, that, that's my price prediction for Ethereum, okay? My ADA, guess what? Still same, same prediction, 4 to $7. Everyone will say, oh, Paul, it's going to go so much, they're going to go 1000 No, it's not. It's going to stay at $1 and never pass $1. Yes, it, yes, it is. It's going to go past that. Oh, it's going back down to 20 No, it's not. It's 4 to $7, $10 at the peak of this bull run. That's the price target. I'm taking profits between 4 and $7. i am not waiting for the 10 If it goes 10 that's fine. That's great. Okay, but I'm taking profits at four to seven dollars. That's my prediction. I'm going to stick by that because that was my analysis back then. I'm sticking to my analysis. I'm sticking to my plan, right? Make your plan, then work your plan, right? That's what you plan. Plan your work, then work your plan. That's what you're supposed to do, okay? Let me just fix my eyebrows. Okay, so Solana. Right? I was telling you to buy it at a few dollars. I was telling you to buy it. I wish I bought more myself, by the way. We all make mistakes. I was over diversified at the time. See, I, even I make mistakes. But I did have a lot of Solana. Solana saved me, by the way. 
a salon. I was telling people to buy for a few dollars. They're getting $14. They're getting $20. And I was giving you a price prediction. And then everybody was saying that 70, 70 and $90 was the top. I'm like, I'm just going to go to 150 It's going to retrace. And it's going to go for 250 Then it's going to retrace again. Uh, hold support. And it's going to go over that. And my price prediction for Solana is $1,000 Solana. Solana is going to, for me, I'm looking at $1,000 Solana. I'll be taking profits at $700 to $800, by the way just so you know, I'm telling you right now. But I'm looking at $1,000 Solana if this bull market continues. This is driving me nuts. Let me uh, take the automatic off and see if this works better. There you go. If you can hear the air conditioner, tough. Okay, it's too hot in here. I'm grease. All right, now, I was actually swimming a couple of days ago. Anyway, and then froze my ass when I got out the sea because the wind. But anyway, that's beside the point. The water was warm, right? So that's my prediction for, 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 for Solana. And we can talk about some other currencies. Now, when you ask me about my prediction for other currencies in the chat, some I have predictions for, some I will not have predictions for. I cannot know everything. I'm not the know-it-all. The reason I'm so precise, the reason I make these calls, the, the reason I'm so... Um, like a prophet, if you will, like Blaze said earlier on, my co-author. The reason I get this calls right is I concentrate on certain currencies. Now, I might invest in other currencies, but I do technical analysis on certain currencies and have a plan for certain uh, uh, currencies. Like, I, I own Luna. I own Luna. I love Luna. I do not have a price target for Luna. I'm just holding it. I'm staking some of it and holding the rest, and I'll sell it when I feel it's time to sell it. When by, by saying I feel, I'll look at what the altcoins are doing. I'll look at what the, what, what the um, Bitcoin is doing on technical analysis, and I'll do a 20% fundamental analysis for it. That's what I'll be looking at, right? So a lot of them I won't be able to give you a price prediction, but I'll be able to give you my thoughts as a thought leader because I'm not copying any other YouTuber out there. I'm just not right? A lot of them are copying me. Now, when I did do, or when I did have information from another YouTuber, like Crypto Banter, uh, BitBoy Crypto a couple of times, I actually tell people in my video, hey, I got this information from Datadash. Check them out. I got this information from Crypto, crypto Banter. I actually did that the other day, right? Uh, about Coty. This was like a week or two ago, right? People are saying, oh, I, I told everybody about Coty. No, not really. Crypto Banter told everybody about Coty. I just made a video and I put Crypto Banter's segment inside the video with a link in the comments so you can go watch the video crypto i did not call cody i didn't even know what cody was crypto banter called cody so and i always give credit no one gives credit to this channel though there's a lot of top youtubers out there i'm not going to name them because i know some of them personally and i know what they're doing and i'm and i'm not going to name the rest of them because it just doesn't make sense but a lot of them are just copying myself but other youtubers as well and giving that information as their own and it's normal look i was the head of marketing um the fully licensed and regulated crypto exchange. Um, I mean, I have a book with almost every anybody who's anybody in uh, crypto, like with Blaze, by the way, uh, Antonopoulos, Roger Veer, all these people. I, I know I, I've talked to them. I talk to most of them a lot. I know some personally. Uh, some are friends, right? Uh, Joe Com from the Bad Crypto Podcast wrote the forward to that book. I know people. I am working with Mintable. I'm in higher management and do special projects. I, I have information. I know what's going on in the market. And a lot of times, oh, who, this, who is this guy? What does this guy think? Uh, I don't know what's going to happen to SafeMoon. Oh, this guy doesn't know anything. He's new. Uh, pop when I was when my channel was relatively new like eight months ago everyone was like oh it's just popping up now pretending he knows everything no I'm working in the industry I wrote several books I know people I talk to people right anyway beside the point point that, that, that's why if you like the crypto factor if you like if you want to be part of of the factor fam because we have the factor fam factorfam.com by the way I bought the domain didn't do anything with it yet I'm waiting for suggestions but if you want to be part of this community, if you want to be part of this family, if you want to succeed together, together as cryptopreneurs, as aspiring cryptopreneurs, then go ahead and subscribe down below and hit that uh, bell notification button so you don't miss videos. And you can ask anything you want in the chat. I try not to monetize most of my videos. I don't monetize my 60 seconds. Sometimes I do monetize them just so I can get more uh, promotion. I think that there's, a, there's a debate whether YouTube pushes out um, uh, monetized videos more than other ones. I try to keep most of them unmonetized. And just so you know, any super chats 
that come to me, they go to my dog. They go to my dog. Like I, I take care of my dog. I give him bones and treats and stuff like that. Just so you know, uh, if you do super chats or donations or anything like that, just straight to my dog. Like, look, it's sleeping right now. Look, 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 it's right there. Look, it's right there. He's sleeping. You know, he was he was playing and being a nuisance all day. So let's talk a little bit about the chat. Oh, and let's talk about the exit. Let's look at let's look at the chat and then we'll talk about the exit strategy real quick, which. Basically, I already gave you. I'm taking profits in to Bitcoin in October. Let's make it short and fast. Taking profits into Bitcoin in October, seeing what the markets are doing after, and then getting back into lagging altcoins, lagging altcoins that haven't pumped as much yet if the bull market continues. And I'll be doing that over the next few months, like every few months, every season, if you will. Mini seasons, this is like my own thing. I don't really want to talk about it right now because I'm going to put it into Hodlnomics. I also own Hodlnomics.com. haven't done anything with it yet, but I want to get my whole system and everything in there and do other stuff in there. But if you want to know what I'm doing and when I'm doing it, all you have to do is subscribe. I'm going to give this information free. Yes, you can join the channel down below and get certain posts a little faster and stuff like that and some 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 member live streams just by go, joining the channel it's in the description you don't need to do that though because i give all my information for free just so you know so let's have a look at the the chat real quick let's have a look at the chat hi from houston what's up let's do this let's go awesome crypto fam daddy is home crypto fam it's a factor fam i should have bought crypto fam i should have bought crypto fam but now it's too late i looked at crypto fam after but it was taken and i don't think i want to pay twenty thousand dollars for it factor fam is cool because crypto fam can be any crypto right but factor is a crypto factor so i like factor fam because it's, it's just a fact this is a fact that we're a factor right fact anyway <laughs> let's go on love you all too hey bro great call on axs brilliant yep axs is one of my biggest gainers as well i think axs is doing very well and it's going to keep on doing well everybody was saying it topped everybody was saying listen this is not going to go up anymore because of market cap look at the smaller coins I'm not going to name anybody look at the smaller gaming tokens axs axs won't go up as much yes it will yes it will. And that's like saying, oh, look at Bitcoin. It went up so much. Look at the market cap. Uh, let's, yeah, and it will go up. It's a blue chip. It's safer and it's going to do more. It's got, they got first mover advantage and they're doing shit. AXS, AXS, Access Infinity, for those who do not know, is going to do very well. It's going to do very well. It's going to go up a lot more as well. And it's not going to make as big dives as the other gaming tokens. Let, AXS is the Bitcoin right now is the bitcoin in the gaming industry so you want to take profits into axs from other coins if you will before you put it into bitcoin in fact, or, or keep it in axs does that make sense all right let's move down dave flowers asking me if i caught any fish the other day yes i caught one about this big so i gently took out the hook and let him go i don't keep small fish i only keep big fish if i don't catch any i only keep what i'll eat if i catch anything smaller I'll, even the fish this big i'll let them go it has to be like a fish a real fish right hassan bukhari him and support how are you i'm fine nothing better than your 60 second videos thank you very much all the people saying in the bear market, I was telling everybody we're not in the bear market. No one would listen to me. Everyone was worried. All these YouTubers, everyone's following. They have hundreds and thousands of, of subscribers, millions of subscribers. Everyone's like, oh, we're we going to a bear market. So I was telling 30,000 was the bottom. No one's subscribing to this channel. Everyone's subscribing to all these people that are constantly wrong. But guess what? They put out so much content that one of the videos will be right. They put a, a video that, that they, that's a bear market, a video that might not be a bear market, a video that it could be a bear market, and then they'll do, the, the, you know, people will listen to the last one. They always remember the last one, the one they want to, it's, it's, it's um, something buys, what is it? Um, I can't remember the exact name about the buys. I actually teach this, and I can't remember the name right now because I'm ranting. When I rant, I forget shit. But anyway, um, people are biased. They remember the last video they put out, the one that's right, they forget about all the shit. It's like, let me, let me give you an example, right? Think of your favorite singer right now. Your favorite singer. Put it in the chat. Who's your favorite singer right now? Who's your favorite musician? Right? And write right next to him, his name, write your favorite track. Or his last track or your favorite track. Put it down in the chat right now. Let's go. Let's look at the chat real quick. Who's your favorite singer? What's your favorite track by him? Put it in the chat right now. Gonna, this is a social experiment for Crypto Fam right here. Put it in the chat, okay?
I'm not seeing anybody put it in the chat. Come on. R. Kelly. Okay, what's your favorite R. Kelly song? Right? What's your favorite R. Kelly song? If, if you don't have a favorite singer, put your favorite actor, his favorite movie. Right? All right, now put that in your head. Some people wrote, some people are not writing. It doesn't matter, okay? Put that in your head. All right, now, what's his worst track ever? Like, do you remember? Like, R. Kelly, all these uh, movie stars, they did some very good songs and very good movies. I bet you anything you can't remember their worst movie or worst track. At least you, can't, you just don't remember. You don't remember the ones, the, you remember the hits. You don't remember the, um, the, the, the songs that just didn't do well. You just don't, unless you're really into underground. Even then, you'll, you remember the good underground songs. You forget. It's the same thing with YouTubers. They put out a bunch of videos. You remember the one that hits and resonates with you. You forget the rest. Some YouTubers even delete the rest. Look at their video count and look at their uh, and count their videos. You'll see that there'll be some missing, right? Because it's, it's crazy. Anyway, enough about that. Let's look at more of your questions here. What do I think about Nano? I think Nano is good. Not one of my favorite coins. This, um, uh, not one of my favorites. I, I think other currencies are going to outperform Nano. Sub skills. Do you think the uh, the NFT hype is over? No, man. I do not think the NFT hype. Are, I'm very bullish. That's my dog, by the way. Very bullish on on NFTs. I think NFTs are going to kill it. I bought some NFTs. Let me show you some NFTs I bought. Give me a second. And let me give you another warning too. This is a warning that no one's been telling you here, or some maybe you missed it. This is my this is soverycrypto.com. I, I actually own this. This is like my page here, right? If you want to go to Soveri Crypto or on um, on Rarible or OpenSea, whatever, this is my account. These are my NFTs. Okay, see this NFT right here with a flag change, and this was airdropped with me. If you are ever airdropped an NFT like this, do not hide it. Do not interact with it. Do not try and sell it. They drop NFTs to me all the time and they disappear a little bit. It's a scam. It's, it's a virus or some shit. You can lose all your crypto and NFTs in your wallet. Do not even touch it. Do not even click to see what it is. Be very, very careful. I don't know exactly how the mechanics work yet. I'm, I'm going to find out uh, from the company I work with at some point. But do not click on that. Do not, if it's there for a long time after, and it's very, then fine. But do not click on that airdropped NFT. Just don't do it unless you know it's coming, you know where it's coming from, you know who sent it or whatever, okay? It's very important. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous, okay? By the way, give this video a like. I mean, I'm giving you information here that's just great. So just come on, like the video, yeah? So let's go on, all right? Let me show you again. So this is my page. So I bought this bullish llama the other day. This, this crypto demons, I sacrificed three demons for this one. I think it's going to do good. The glitches, I have a glitches one. These are all ones I'm going to wait for. Today I bought this Wicked Hound Bone Club. I think it's going to do very well. This the Space Dino was airdropped to me for holding this Space Punk. I also made a video about people abusing and conning and scamming people and, and, and how they did it the, the other day. I hope you can watch that video if you're into NFTs. This little guy, I don't know why I bought it. I thought Gary V would ape into this for some strange reason and he didn't. So I don't know why I have this anyway. It doesn't matter. This is the board mummy I have waking up, baby waking up. I think this will do very well as the other one, the board mummy, does well. This little demon, I sacrificed three of these for that one, and now I just have this one. These, this is my Raccoon Mafia, my Penguin Fight Club, I think they're going to do very well, and my Bears on the Block, and today I also bought this one, Parallel Alpha, I think it's going to do very well. Why did I buy this? Um, I heard, embarrassingly, I heard a YouTuber talk about it, and somebody told him, which somebody told him, and I did no research on it, it doesn't really matter, all right? And of course, this Cunning Fox is right here, I bought this guy, I think I, I overpaid for most of these. Now... You can also buy my books. You can buy my books as NFTs and download my actual books right here. These are different NFTs I collected over the time. I literally created these ones. These are created by me. I was going to do a comic book. This is Miss Satoshi and Miss Satoshi Revealed. Um, I'm going to do something. I'm going to say, I'm, look, I'm going to do something in the NFT space before I do this, but I'm going to do this one day. Uh, and if you want to support me and you want to buy one of these, great because one day i'm going to make a comic book I'm, I, I wasn't going to tell anybody it was going to be a secret i was going to do it but because it got sidetracked into other projects one day it's going to be, become a comic book it's going to be in the metaverse 
uh, and Miss Satoshi. Satoshi is a girl, and she has like a, a sidekick. I don't want to mention the sidekick because that's a surprise. Uh, that that you know they go around and they um, get villains and stuff like that. I think it's, it's going to be a comic book. I already talked about it. I already found uh, the script, it, it, uh, but I'm not going to do it this year. I'm not going to do it this year. It's going to happen in 2022, 2023. But if you want to support the channel and you feel like buying something from this, you can buy one of these. Uh, Miss Satoshi's. These are the original ones. These are only one pieces of these, by the way. That's why it's so expensive. Only one pieces of these. Uh, and then these are my music. I used to be an MC. I literally used to sing all over and rap all over Europe. I used to, uh, from, 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 from Germany to the biggest clubs in Germany, the Euro Palace and so on, to Bulgaria where the swag parties, uh, the biggest clubs there, most exclusive clubs, obviously all the exclusive clubs and underground clubs in Greece, by the way. Switzerland, uh, we, did, we did events, uh, you know, underground and mainstream. I worked with DJ Lord from Public Enemies, a friend of mine where he was DJing and I did the, the hyping and everything. I worked with the Beat Nuts. I was on stage with them. I uh, met the Wu-Tang Clan. I, I, I was really into music. I, I actually had a top 100 track and so on, which was this one right here, Back in Athens, Birch, which went very well. But then I left the record. Well, the, we, we had to like, um, they didn't want to continue the record label with this one, Revolution. This Revolution one, the video clip actually has different secret hidden messages in it, which is very crypto. I, I don't want to talk about it anyway. And this is my mixtape, the first one. I made anyway there's only a, a number of these this is another way to support me is if you want to buy my music and then anything else you want to buy these I just made this was supposed to be a brand for a clothing brand which I actually do have right now you can literally go to my store it's in the links down below and you can buy clothes with this brand or you can buy Bitbull my, my, my Pitbull which is a Bitbull uh, you know merchandise and everything on YouTube so you, there's a link down below for the store I think there should be anyway uh, and you can buy shit <laughs> Right, you, I, I never show this stuff. I literally never talk about this. I'm talking about it now. I very rarely talk about it because I don't like I don't like pushing things. I don't like selling things on this channel because this channel is not about that. Um, but yeah, and then um, so that's that. This one is what, what was it? Real? Just huddle and it's this multi Bitcoin there inside. It's got different colors and you can get different clothes on on the store. We'll see what we'll do about that at some point. Check out this track. This is a really cool track, by the way. Anyway. And then, um, and this is my website. For those of you that didn't see it, this is what I do. I'm a marketeer. Um, I do public speaking. I got the podcast. I do sales and marketing consulting. Uh, I do public speaking. There I am with Tone Vase, Gorilla Buzz, um, and um, Content Works, and so on. Katoshi. Some, some what some people are saying about me. I need to update this. But yeah, if you go to my gallery, for example. You'll see different pictures with Tone Vase, Roger Veer, Sherry Francis, different people probably with my book. I gotta update this as well, this Antonopoulos, and so on. Anyway, let, let me not bore you with this. If you want to check it out, it's cryptofactor.net. So let's keep on going. Let's talk about let's see what's in the chat. Mo, exactly what I'm doing now. Did you did you get rid of Safe Moon yet? Did you, did you crash the bus? If it was Safe Moon people in the bus, you, you, you need to you need to crash the bus, man. You need to, look look, let me let me give you a safe moon prediction. This is safe moon, okay? This is safe room. Give me a second. Give me a second. This is safe room. Okay. You buy a couple of hundred dollars of safe room, right? You buy a couple of hundred, right? Then you buy them, right? Then you buy a few more. And what safe room will do, right, is what it did last time. It's going to start going up. So it becomes more, more, right? It becomes more dollars. It's going up, yeah? It's going up and it's going up more, right? Then it dumps. It dumps in half, right? It dumps in half. But then you get more, you get more like a safe moon here, right? You get more safe moon, like you, you get more. And then it just dumps again and dumps again, right? And that's what happens with safe moon. And now I'm going to pick this shit up because it's all over my keyboard and everything. But you get the drift. So you don't get the Lambo. No, you don't get the Lambo. Like, Lambo goes bye-bye. The Lambo's fucked, right? All you get is this shit, right? All you get is this shit, which I just accidentally threw it all over the place again. And um, does anyone have any sellotape? <laughs> but that's, that's basically safe one. It's going to pump. You can make money from it, but then it's gonna be not going to be worth anything. It's going to be worth less than what the dollar is worth, right? That's what's going to happen. That's my opinion anyway. Vitaly says, hope we will come up with something interesting today because I cannot stand my colleagues. What? 
Oh, you're talking about the what predictions we have and so on. Okay. Sub sales, you got robbed and the crypto bank went up. <laughs> Good timing. Uh, Mo says, it wasn't too much, man. I mean, the, the, the sunglasses cost $200 or 200 euros. The microphone with the dingo was like 100, maybe another 20, 30 for the charger because it was an original charger. Whatever, man. So it is what it is. At least they didn't take the car. They didn't take the stereo. I think my dog scared them. That was probably the time, the time I went outside to get my dog inside. They scared that they ran. They didn't get the stereo, which is good because I like my stereo. Which is also dumb of them because it was a 500 euro stereo. It's an Alpine deck. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's for the high society fish. <laughs> Something fishy is going on, by the way. Something fishy is going to go on. I'm going to be talking about it soon on this channel. Don't want to, I don't want to say anything right now, but remember what I'm going to say. Something fishy is going on, right? And we're going to be talking about it on the channel pretty soon. IK says, hi, what do you think a good entry point for ADA is? I would be dollar cost averaging today. Let me, let me see the price on my phone real quick. I just want to see my block volume just a little faster and easier because I'm not going to do TA. On, I just want to see the price real quick, what's going on. You could start dollar cost averaging into ADA today and tomorrow, depending on what it does. We might go down a little bit less based on analysis I did another time. Fishies love them. Fishies do. Uh, what's the next stop for BTC, Ethereum, profit taking? I mentioned that earlier on. Life out loud. No safe room people are allowed on my bus. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. It will go higher than that. Okay. Yeah, but I'm just giving... I, I like giving conservative to midi intermediate predictions. I don't like giving, I, I, you know, if it goes higher than that, fine, but I like giving the conservative realistic views. And then I always leave like 20, 25% for it to go up higher. And if it goes down, doesn't matter because I already took profits. Took out profits this morning at 48K, was it too early? It depends how up you are. If you got in 30,000 when I told you to, and you're taking profits at 48K, but you're keeping your initial income, that's a conservative play, which is not wrong. It's never wrong to take profits. I have a video on how to take profits, by the way. But it's never wrong to take profits because they're profits and it's money, right? I don't know. You might be in it for the tech, man. You might be. I'm in it for the tech. It doesn't mean I don't want to make profits and don't want to make money. I, you know, a lot of people are in it for the tech. No, you're not. You're in it for the profits and the money, and you're also in it for the tech. I'm in it for the tech, but I'll take those profits. I mean, come on. Wall Street Kitty Roars. I respect you are able to be honest about the mistakes. Thank you. You're very welcome. I always will be honest. I promise to be honest and I'll never let you down. I will always try my best to do that. This channel is all about that. So if you like that kind of thing, then please subscribe. I love these little buttons, by the way. I got this bucket, show you my books. Again, this is like Crypto Facts. I can show you my marketing book. I can show you the essentials. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You can, I can click this. It's pretty good. I can put like logos up from different um, cryptocurrencies. For example, the SafeMoon cryptocurrency logo and so on. Nano, we already talked about, Sasha. Does China thing, it stops working? Does the China, <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> what about VeChain? I think VeChain is a good accumulation. I think it's gonna go up. I don't think it's gonna be the best performing cryptocurrency in this bull cycle. If it was gonna be, it should have already made its moves in my opinion. That does not mean I cannot be wrong about this, but I think definitely other cryptocurrencies will outperform it. I think Algorand is a very, very good token to hold. I do not have a prediction on it. All I know is Exodus, IO Wallet, one of the best wallets out there, is built on Algorand. Algorand. JP Richardson, the CEO of uh, Exodus, swears by it. Uh, that's why we got in. We made the Algorand call on this channel when it was nothing because of that interview. If you watch that interview, we gave, we gave you a gem, right? We gave you a gem. Whoever got into Algorand, it was nothing back then. They got astro astronomical gains. Should I invest in Uniswap? Yes, I think Stephen Wright, I think you should invest in Uniswap. I think it's going to do very well, but dollar cost average in, don't buy the highs. VRA is going to do very well as a gaming token as well. Veracity, it's one of my holdings for the game. If, if the gaming industry goes up, Veracity will also go up. Will it do better than other gaming tokens like Chain Guardians? We don't know. Uh, we'll see. Don't, don't bet the farm on it. If you have a token, let me tell you something. If you have a cryptocurrency that you think is going to go up 100 to 1,000x, 
Why put a thousand dollars into it, for example? Why, if if, you, if, if you, all you have is a thousand dollars, why not? Why would you do that? Put a hundred dollars into it, hundred and fifty, right? Hundred, hundred, hundred and fifty dollars. If you a hundred x that, that's what fifteen thousand euros. That is good money. If you only have a thousand dollars, that's extremely good money, right? But then you can diversify in other projects with the other nine hundred, right? You don't need to put everything into one coin because you think it's, if you think it's going to 100x or 1,000x, I don't. I have tokens I think they're going to go 100x or 1,000x, and I only put a couple of hundred in there. I don't care if I lose it, which you do after a while because all those hundreds add up. I have like maybe 30 tokens of $300 each. I mean, come on. Um, but if they go up, great. I, I'm, don't be greedy. Listen, bulls make money, bears make money, Pigs get slaughtered. That's that's actually something that they say. Uh, st- traders say this, like like professional traders, because I used to teach technical analysis. They we say this: bulls make money, bears make money, pigs get slaughtered. Remember that. Hey, Stephen S. Which coin do you think will uh, will uh, three t- three times first, three x first, Matic, Algo, or H bar? Dude, I don't do races. I don't do races like that, man. All three do, will do well. I'm holding all three. I'm holding less, less H-bar, not because I want to hold less. I'm just waiting to take profits from something else to put it in there. Uh, I don't do races, man. It's, it's, I just don't. I think that's stupid. What is a coin, says Vitaly, that you invest a pr- in private that you don't talk about here? Because I know you do that. No, I was I was pretty I was pretty um, open with every single coin. I even did my crypto portfolio video uh, many months ago. I might do it again. I might do my because obviously things change. I'll do a full portfolio soon, right? I'll do a full portfolio and tell you exactly what I'm holding soon and why I'm holding it. Okay, and I'll even say which ones I'm holding just because I heard it somewhere. And I'll even say which ones I'm holding because I believe in them and which ones I made a mistake on. Dwayne says, hey, good morning. Good morning, man. Avex and Adam. I think Avex and Adam are two of my best picks, by the way. Omar, Avex and Atom are two of my best picks. We talked about Avex. We talked about Atom, especially Adam before anyone else was talking about it. I was telling people to get into Atom. It potentially has the, it has the potential to be the next sort of Solana breakout. So just keep that in mind. And right here. I'm saying it right here. I just said it. Keep that in mind. I have only a handful of Solana, should I buy more? If you only have a handful of Solana, in my opinion, you should diversify into other cryptocurrencies that you like and believe in or you do research on. And you can do research by looking at my video, how to do your own research. So let me show you how to do that real quick. All right, give me a second. Let's do this probably, because I want, I want people to succeed here. I don't want people to like fail. I want people to do well. This is my channel. If you go my videos right here, these are all my videos, right? These are my videos. Now, if you go here to the search, where is it? Search, this little magnifying glass, and you put do your own research or do your own whatever, right? All right, maybe not that. Let's do research, sorry. If you put research, look, do your own research right here. How to well, do your own research do with cryptocurrency. Pro- and I, do, I give an example of SafeMoon versus Bitcoin. And this was just because I was pissed off and I wanted to show the difference. But, and I want, also want some of these SafeMoon people to understand what research is. Because everyone was telling me, what, do, do your own research. Okay, this is how you do your research. This video right here is how you do your research. After you finish this live stream, go check out that video, right? Uh, and you'll see. And you should diversify into the projects that you do your own research on. Nano, I see planes. I already talked about Nano. I don't have an opinion on it. Music, aka, we all know you hate SafeMoon. What about HBAR? Love HBAR. I love Hero Hash Graph. Bitcoin trading on leverage. And I don't have much of it. My girlfriend has some I gave to her as a present last year. Bitcoin trading on leverage. Plenty of volatility. Why complicated by trading else? Because when you trade on leverage, you get liquidated. 
right? Everyone's a genius in the bull market. But once you trade, what people don't understand is this, the more leverage you take, the less of a drop it needs to make for you to get liquidated. And then you have to start over. And the problem with crypto markets are scam wicks. See, if you're trading in crypto right now, you probably would have noticed there's wicks that go down and they go back up straight away. Now we don't know, or some say we don't know, that exchanges do this on purpose or wells do this on purpose to get you out of your position, to, to, to liquidate you. And then if you notice it goes up, like you get your technical analysis correct. You have your stop loss, which is fine. And you know it's gonna go up. And what it does is this. And you just get liquidated, or you get your stop loss hit, and you get pissed off, so you do it again. And then you get liquidated on the way down. That's why you shouldn't do leverage. And that's why you should use altcoins, because they outperform uh, Bitcoin, so you can take your sats, you can, you can put profits in Bitcoin without losing all your capital. It's just much easier. And you don't need to take leverage because altcoins are like you're taking huge leverage anyway. It's risky enough. You don't need to trade this market like that. This is not Forex or stock market, right? It's too fast. It's too volatile. It's very hard. I see AVEX and Atom doing very well. Are you talking about price prediction? I don't have a price prediction. I'm just holding I'm staking Atom and AVAX. I'm just holding to see what's going to happen. Rechain, we talked about any thoughts on D Race? Yes, D Race will do very well as a gaming token. We talked about D Race before, it was one of our gaming picks. I also have some videos that tell you like which gaming tokens will do well and so on. Shah says, Hi from Egypt. Any idea on Nano? I, I, I do not know anything about Nano. Um, La. La. La Nano. I'm forgetting my Arabic. Shuf uh, Nano, la thoughts on that. I'm, I'm really killing the Arabic language right now. Uh, but yeah. Salam alaikum. Uh, Regency bias. Okay. Mr. Blue, hey Paul, shout out from LA. What's up, LA? What's up, LA? Um, out of everyone on YouTube, you are the only one that showed how to take profits. Thank you. You're very welcome. R. Kelly. Okay, that's from the question before. What's your thoughts with Sandbox? I like Sandbox. I'm investing in Sandbox. I'm buying more Sandbox. I see a few articles and heard some talk about the blockchain city they want to make in Nevada. Do you feel it's worth it? Whether they're doing the, the, the blockchain city or not, I think Sandbox is, good, is a good pick. And, and I think people should accumulate it if they're into gaming. Sub skills. Your song was my favorite one, Paul. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Depends on my mood. Slipknot, actually. Okay, these are the singers and, and different people. Hi, Paul. Hope you're doing well. What do you think about Engine? I think Engine will do well, but it's a bit of a, it's a bit more risky in my opinion. Um, I would I would get it, I would buy Engine, take profits in October, maybe November into another coin and just keep a little bit just in case. Eminem just lose it. You, but, but no one knows Eminem. They, they know his commercial first ones, but he doesn't know. Like Pitbull. Everyone knows Pitbull, but they don't know he used to be into, uh, what was it, drum and bass or some shit like that? <laughs> Tony Montana. Okay. <laughs> Someone likes Tony Montana here, man. You don't know what you're talking about, man. Montana is the, the best, man. You don't know, man. Pitbull Crypto. All these YouTubers, man, they had, fuck them, man. This is the best channel, man. Don't fuck with the best, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Got overacting there. ADA price this year. All they gave that man, $4 to $7, $10 at the, key, at the peak. What about Ecomi? It's a good, it's a good, again, it's, it's a good one. Um, you can hold it. You can trade it. I wouldn't keep it for the long run. How do you see FTM? FTM Phantom is going to do very well. I'm accumulating FTM. We talked about buying FTM on this channel a while ago at a very good price point. I still think it's going to do well. I still think it's going to 3 to 5x at least if this bull run continues. Please, Gibran says, please give a few next outs like Solana, Luna, um, Avalanche for this bull run. Well, I have a video on that. If you go to my videos, like I showed you before, I have a video that talks about 10 best top altcoins, best gaming altcoins, and so on. Here, let me show you. If you go to my channel here, real quick, and you go to videos, just so you know, people, you can watch in your own piece. 
Uh, cancel on me. Uh, why I sold? Ra why I sold Radium? Yep, I sold Radium. Fuck Radium. Should you buy Cardano ADA right now? Bitcoin, uh, where is it? Three cryptocurrencies I'm buying this dip. These are three currencies I bought that, that day. Uh, Bitcoin is the worst cryptocurrency. It's not. I'm just replying to someone here. This one is funny. This one I'm making fun of MM Crypto. Have you guys, have you guys ever seen MM Crypto? Give me a second. One second. Okay. Uh, why call the crypto is pumping? Top 10. There we go. Top 10 best altcoins that can make you rich. Ava, and excuse the uh, title here. That's for clickbait. Avalanche AVAX going to drop jaws. Five, top five AVAX uh, altcoins. The prophecy. You watch this video right here. Top five outcomes to five million. You don't want to miss this. Yes, I hijacked this title to get more views. I did. I admit it. But those are good videos. But you ever seen MM Crypto? MM Crypto is funny. <laughs> He's always got these faces like. <laughs> okay. MM Crypto is always like. Like, like, I really think he strains his muscles. I try to do his face here. I try to do it right here. I try to do the MM, <laughs> the MM crypto factor, <laughs> the final countdown. <laughs> I tried, man. My jaw almost broke. I did another one, Bitcoin technical analysis highlights right here. Um, but, but this one right here, I mean, let, let, let me show you this one real quick. I think it's funny as hell. Give me a second. MM crypto factor here. Yesterday, I made a video about telling you about the 44,000 level. If we break the 44,000 level, we should be going up. But what I did not tell you is if we do not break the support, we could be going down to the low 42,000, maybe even the 40K level. So I just wanted to opt. I can't even do this with a straight. Yeah, man. So I can, you should you should watch that. You should watch that video, by the way. I think it's funny as shit. No hate to MM Crypto. I just think it's it's just very funny the way he talks like this and doing that. It's gonna go down. Oh my God! It's going down to to the bottom. You got to buy. You got to buy right now. It's going down. Get the bazooka. Get the bazooka. <laughs> like the guy's crazy, man. My dog just got up. He's looking like what the fuck, man. I want to get out of here. What is, what is wrong with you? Where did you take? Sorry, baby. Alright. <laughs> but I cannot help it. The, the Bitcoin is going down. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the chat. Sorry about that. Sometimes I overact. Simon, Mr. Toshi versus the, the Federal Reserve. AVEX price, we already did that. I'm, I can't keep on saying. Emos is superstar. Thank you very much. Uh, AVEX is going to do well. I don't have a price for AVEX. It's going to do very well, though. I, I, it, it just is. I'm just selling on profits on the way up. So every time it goes up a couple of hundred, I'm selling. And then keep like 20% forever. Uh, should do a, uh, a collab with Scott Melker. He used to DJ back in the day. Would love to. If, if anybody knows him, you can reach out for me or, or show him. Be like, hey, you should do a collab with, 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 um, with the Crypto Factor. He's, he used to be an MC. Maybe we can do like a crypto song or some shit. That's crazy. I love the beatnuts. I performed with the beatnuts twice. Once in my club in an after party because I was a nightclub owner. And once in Switzerland when I went there for a show with Main Flow from Mood. And they were on stage so we worked together. It was really cool. Or I, we didn't really work together. I just, I went on stage after them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> or before them. Sorry about that. Kind of like did a little thing on stage. And we hanged out and there was weed everywhere. And I didn't smoke but we were, it was cool. Eddie Prey prices here. I already gave you that. I already gave you that. Blaze, I appreciate the props. You were very welcome. Blaze is a co author of The Crypto Factor, by the way, the book. Mo says, Laugh out loud, only buy tickets for safe move. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? ADA prices here. Already answered you, man. Delicata. Okay, this is in Greek. So it says, in Greek, it says, I, I am going to the moon, but I will t call you in. My Ferrari when I get there in Safe Moon. Okay, dude. Good evening. You can you can buy a Ferrari right now with Safe Moon. It, it's just a little toy car. That's 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 their Ferraris. What percentage profit do you take? Depends. All depends on th which project, what I want, what how why I got into it. Please like this video if you want Bitcoin to go to 100k. Someone just said that, so I just did that. 
I heard Sandbox is going to do something on gaming more like Engine. That would be cool, actually. Ocean Protocol. I have no thoughts on Ocean Protocol. I can't lie. Hi, Paul. A bit late, but that's still... A bit late, but they stole one of your Lambos. <laughs> I don't have a Lambo, man. I'm an SUV person. But they, they, that was the one they, they, they stole, or not stole it, they, they, from inside it. They took some shit from inside because I had it unlocked. It's my Mercedes, not, my, um, not, 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 an, SUV, not, not an SUV. Uh, next best token is Meta Hero after summit in Dubai. Sure, I don't know about it. Hope you caught some fish. No, just a small one. Oh, there you go. After your Bitcoin fishing video. Well, I'll try again. I'll go again. Ethereum. Ethereum is going to do good. I told you. Ethereum is going to do seven to 10,000. And then fourteen to 20,000 by the end of this bull run. What do you think about Helium? I think Helium is going to do good. And not my favorite pick for this bull run, though. Maybe the next one we'll see if it still exists. But I think it's do good. I like what it's going to do. Access entry price. Buy it on the dips. If you use leverage correctly and never risking the whole stack, you have, yeah, but Shibli, you have to understand that it takes a few years to master technical analysis and know how to trade. It does. Trust me, I used to teach it, right? And it, it might seem like a long time. It's not, because in a few years, you can actually make more than what? It, what? it takes six years to become a doctor, eight years to become a lawyer. In a couple of years, you can learn technical analysis and how to trade and make more money than both of them combined. But it takes a long time. And in crypto, it's just too volatile. It's just too volatile for that. But yes, there are people that the chart guys, for example, that do very well. But they're day traders, not swing traders. It's hard. It's just hard. Like, I, I found some success not using a stop loss, and off, off, uh, then, then, then I discovered why I should have kept my principles on using a stop loss. ADA, and you have to be very, very, like, okay, if, if you get that wick down and you get locked out, you, know, you, you have to just give it up. You have to know, I'm too emotional for crypto. I wasn't emotional in Forex or, or stocks, but in crypto I am, because it just, I just can't love it too much. ADA price prediction as you already gave it, something in Arabic. I don't know what you just said, Shah. I don't speak Arabic. I don't read Arabic. Uh, but hey. What do you think about Arweave and Graph Audius? I think Graph Audius is good. It might do well, but I don't think it's going to be the best performing coin on AVAX. I think it's on the AVAX. My dog agrees. Um, I think Arweave is going to do good. It's going to do very well, but I don't know much about it to be able to suggest it. Give me a low cap gem in the top 50 with a 10x to 30x potential. I can't do that, man. I don't do that bullshit. I, uh, wait, let me think. My dog just woke up. Look. He's sitting right there. Next to my bag. Um, he's long. When he lies down, he likes doing that. I don't know why. Uh, I can't give you that, man. I can't give you, um, I can't give you a, a low catch on the 10 or 30 X. I, I, I can, but I don't want to do that because what you're going to do is you're going to ape into it. Everyone else is going to ape into it. And then, you know, it's just, too, it's, I'll do it in a video once I do my analysis. I don't want people aping into something, just calling it out. Do you know what I mean? I just don't want to do that. Hey, what? Hey, he wants a coin too. He wants a coin too. Here, how about this one? Hey. All right. Uh, but yeah, it's dangerous to do calls like that because people ape, ape in and then it goes down a little bit. Like, oh my God, I'm going to panic sell. They like, panic sell and then, then I get in trouble. I don't want to do that. Reverse repo limit increased by Feds, S&P 500 now. Yeah, we'll see. Everyone has all these predictions. It's going to crash, and they're always a year late. Are they preparing a huge crash to use this cash to buy everything up? Well, I don't know if they're preparing for the crash, but the crash is imminent. I don't know if it's going to happen this year or next year, but it doesn't mean. It's, but, but, but there is a chance it's going to happen. Guys, please like the video. You're getting a lot of information. This channel. Yeah, man, like this video. Give this video a like. I need this. I don't ask. I need people to subscribe and like this video to get it out here. My dog is going nuts. Baby, stop. I can't let you out. I just can't. You have to stay here. But yeah, please like this video. Solo hold, hold Ethereum. Ethereum, hold and accumulate. Hold and accumulate. Do, I've been telling people not to forget about Ethereum. I've been, I, I'm the, one of the only ones, if not the only one that keeps on telling people, get more Ethereum and Bitcoin for long term. Just do that. Just take profits in Ethereum as well. Do you have any of your books in audio? No, I do not. I would love, to, I would love someone to do that for me. 
Top altcoins in December. I'll do a video on that. Don't have one right now. I heard a whale bought lots of Shiba last night, which is more shitcoin. Yeah, pretty much. I, I'd rather have Shiba than SafeMoon, if that makes sense. But both are very dangerous. I'm pretty new to crypto investments. How do I find someone to trade with? I see a lot of comments, but there's a lot of scammers. Just go to an exchange. Do not trade with anybody in here. Do not trade with anybody in comments. Go to like Binance, Coin Metro, KuCoin, or some sort of exchange and trade there. Watch YouTube tutorials to see how you do that or do it on Uniswap, but the fees are pretty high. Hey mate, seem very cool. Where you born and what language did you just respond to your dog? In Greek, man. I was born in London, but I'm Greek. And yeah, I live in Greece. Thank you very much. I'm just, I gotta take my dog for a walk. He's gonna pee all over my carpet. He actually peed during a live stream. Uh, I was I was interviewing um, was it crypto? Gog on crypto. And he, he was a puppy back then. And he literally peed right there as I was doing the video. It's, it's, it's actually hilarious. It's on camera. <laughs> you have to watch that interview. I'm like I'm seeing the camera like this. I'm like my dog just peed on my new carpet it was i just had it fitted as well just uh, it was crazy thank you very much thank you for everything please like this video please subscribe and hit the bell the bell notification button if you enjoyed yourself if you got value from this video i would really appreciate it and please share and talk about this channel with everybody you know post this channel on your social media talk about the crypto factor get people to come and check it out and see if they like it. don't tell them to subscribe only if they like crypto let them watch a couple of videos and if like subscribing I would really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you very much. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.